These are 50 things you should definitely avoid doing in Clash of Clans or you could get in a serious trouble. According to the Sound Scientist Association's top 3 loudest sounds on earth are of course PewDiePie's dog Edgar's fart with 0.5 decibels, mom asking to clean your room with 100 decibels and the loudest of all is when you forget to turn off the volume before opening Clash of Clans. So if you don't want to lose your hearing then always make sure to turn it off. Has your queen ever walked to the wrong direction? Well the common reason could be that you didn't make big enough funnel and because of that the whole attack is ruined and so is your day. If necessary use the whole army for funnel. Third worst thing to do is to give your phone to your little brother sister nephew or whoever doesn't understand the deep strategical technicality of clash of clans as it could happen that he could accidentally delete your 10 year old obstacle collection. Do you know what is worse than using a book of building on a level 1 cannon? Using book of everything on the last second of a 20 day long upgrade. Never do that. Fifth worst thing to do is not to subscribe to my channel because it makes you miss out on that free IQ that many people have already claimed. And some of them have even said that they passed Albert Einstein with their new IQ. So if you want to become smarter than Einstein then slap that red IQ button and it will be delivered instantly. Placing your town hall in the corner of the base and building everything around while rubbing your hands together thinking what kind of genius idea you have come up with. That was me about 8 years ago when I started playing Clash of Clans and thought it was a good idea. If you have done that or thought about doing it in the past then the good news is that finally it is possible. Not in main village though but in capital peak and these corner bases are surprisingly effective. Upgrading all air defenses at once. One of the worst things quite decent amount of leaders still do until this day is to promote newly joined people to co-leaders which could end badly in so many ways. One of them happened to a person going by the name of Redditors are miserable who pretty much couldn't kick out that one person causing trouble because he kept updating the clan settings which automatically closes the clan tab for you. So yes, definitely think twice before promoting someone. Spamming night witches from the furthest corner of the builder base without checking for megamines. Saying something inappropriate through in-game communication. But what is considered inappropriate? I can't be bothered to go over each one of them but some of them are hate speech, racism, and excessive swearing. If you do any of that and your clan mates report you then there is a chance to get banned from the game. But never falsely report someone because a said in fair play section of Supercell then making false reports just to get someone banned can lead to the same. Never buy gems to spend them and ask Supercell for a refund because you could end up getting greeted by negative 100,000 gems next time you log in like it happened to this dude and many other kids who have taken money from their mum's credit card. Writing a clan mail telling everyone to take time to plan their war attacks in order to get that 3 star but the next thing you know you end up executing attacks like a 5 year old. Bringing 3 earthquake spells with you. Maxing out the base but not the walls. I know walls are pretty annoying to upgrade but just for the sake of all the enemy archer queens you have to do it. They will appreciate it. Have you ever thought what attack strategy guarantees you to get 0 stars? Well, allow me to introduce to you the combination of jump spells, earthquake spells and miners. You know it's this time of the month when clan war league starts but you still end up upgrading all 4 heroes on the very first day of it. You have been in clouds 4 hours, you can't find a single decent loot base so you end up just picking one tiny loot base and then you realize you are missing some gold for the next upgrade. You go back to clouds but this time without a full army and then this happens. There is that one wall piece that you want to upgrade so you sell all of your magical items to gem the cost of that wall. Yes that was me couple of years ago. Two builders, 500 gems in the bank, and you are not going to spend it on purchasing that third builder but you will buy that shovel of obstacle instead to move that trunk out of the way. Not attacking in clan war while rest of the 49 members took their time out of the data plan and complete both attacks just to lose half of the loot they were supposed to get because of this one person. There was one video in Reddit where this dad got all the way to the town hall 12 without building his clan castle. I mean, why? It's like playing Minecraft but only in single player mode. You are literally missing out on half of the fun the game has to offer like clan wars, clan's capital, and so on. Probably the game is just too easy for him with the help of CC troops and all the loot he would otherwise earn from clan games etc.
so he is intentionally making it more challenging for himself. Using gem generators is one of the worst things you could do in Clash of Clans. People who use it think they will get some sick amount of gems but in reality all they get is a good old kick on their bum from Supercell. Have you ever written an hour long clan mail just to find out that there is a mistake at the beginning of the letter that you just can't send out because you are a perfectionist? Been there done that and unfortunately to this day it's not possible to fix mistakes without deleting the whole letter basically so all you can do is keep checking for the mistakes after each word. I know majority of Clash of Clans players are not a huge fan of the builder base but not maxing out at least the gem mine and regularly collecting it makes you miss 1752 free gems per year. Finishing maxing out all the walls day before a hammer gem event starts that you didn't know about. If you love Clash of Clans or any other Supercell game then the worst thing you could do is to move to Vietnam. Due to the local regulatory issues Clash of Clans and many other games are banned there and what I have heard then even the VPN doesn't work as the bans are handed out by the Supercell ID, and not particularly by looking at the IP address. But as of March 2022 Vietnam is not alone anymore due to the special operation in Ukraine. So Supercell carried out a special Clash of Clans app store removal operation in Russia and Belarus. One of the worst things you could do is not to bring extra cleanup troops for the corner builder huts. I don't know how many times I got 99% 2 star just because of running out of time due to those annoying builder huts. Do you know what is even worse than 99% 2 star? Attack in clan war where you get 99% 1 star. I think many of us have seen attacks like this. What's wrong about an octopus attacking your base you may ask? No mate, deploying troops like this is humanly impossible and is most likely the result of using a third party farming software that is forbidden according to the supercell's terms of service. Make sure you will never use them or you could get banned. One thing you should definitely not do is to spend all the gems when you start a new account. As we know everyone gets like 250 gems or something but in order to speed up the process how quickly you will unlock new stuff you need to save every gemmy to get more builders. When it comes to the base building then one of the worst things to do is to place key defenses right next to each other. Let's say you are placing 3 infernos next to each other then it makes it so easy for enemy to freeze them all with one spell only. Giving random person access to your Clash of Clans account which is firstly forbidden by Supercell but secondly also all sorts of stuff could happen like that person spending all of your gems for the name change into something weird and so on. Using sneaky archers in builder base. Starting a clan war attack and not placing your phone to charge even though it showed a 10% warning 5 minutes ago. Not activating the hero ability on knockout which could lead to losing a 2.8 million gem tournament that happened to BK in the squid game video. If you haven't seen it then most certainly check it out as it's one of the best videos I have ever done. Leaving the number 1 clan at the last second of the season while being among the top 20 clan members. One of the worst things is buying the gold pass but not collecting the boosts, as they ain't gonna activate by themselves. Completing surveys to earn gems. Literally biggest waste of time. You know that moment when you have been in clouds searching for a base for an hour or so and then you find that juicy 4 million loot base but your muscle memory kicks in and you tap next. Bruh. Using an inappropriate base design. Rushing an account is typically really really bad idea if you are planning to max it out later because first of all you have to attack bases that most likely doesn't match your troop and hero levels. Secondly rushed base with low defense will get 100% looted more often. Have you ever built a base so you can friendly challenge your clan mates to see how well it works but you accidentally end up moving a wall piece in your base so that the 24 hour cooldown starts all over again? I don't know about you but this is one of the worst feelings I had to deal with as a base builder back in the days. Worst thing is when you boost all of your barracks heroes spell factories but then your mom calls you to come to eat so you got to go because otherwise your sister will eat all of your ice cream. Buying a shield while having zero loot in the storages. Going on vacation but forgetting to opt out of war so once you get back you have been kicked out of the clan because of not finishing the attacks. Being the last person in war to execute the deciding 3 star attack while literally every single person of your clan and enemy clan is watching you. Never buy or sell accounts because it's strictly forbidden thing to do and causes you not only to lose your money but also the account. 
getting that 99% on one of the bases during raid weekend and not cleaning it up yourself but waiting until someone else does it. Accidentally fat finger deleting your max out account. Anyway if you enjoyed this video then I am 99% sure you will also like this video where I am trolling some people in Champions League using a 3D base. Have a lovely day.